Hello and good morning. You might have uh, heard about this uh, new token on Solana, which is called Bonk. And this token is currently traded a lot, so it has a very high volume. And if there's a high volume, it makes sense to provide liquidity, um, which means that you put your token into a pool and let other people trade with it. And you yeah, can see the uh, volume is currently like 15 million. And I'm going to show you um, how to do that in an example. I'm going to use Orca, but there are um, multiple different ones that I'm going to show you later. And for that, what you do is you just go to Whirlpools and then you click on Deposit. And here you have a few options. Um, the interesting about Orca is that it's a concentrated liquidity market, which means um, that you provide your liquidity not for the whole price range, but you narrow it down to a certain tick. So that means that um, the liquidity on, uh, in these um, pools is split into ticks, which means every 0.1% of the price change, um, it's a tick and you provide your liquidity from one tick to another tick. And uh, what this does is it makes it more effective, your money. So um, here it's shown as a leverage. So if I provide my liquidity from a very small price range, here from uh, 8 to the power of minus 8 sol per bonk. Then you can see I uh, put a leverage of 28 um, times, which means if I put in $100, uh, it actually is, um, I'm providing liquidity as if it would be $2,800. So, but I'm gonna um, pick the um, passive option here, which, um, yeah, the, the higher, yeah, the smaller you make your liquidity range, the more often you need to adjust your range because if the price goes out of this range, then you're not providing liquidity anymore and you're not um, earning yield as, uh, and until the price goes down again. So here I'm just going to put uh, one sol and uh, 1.8 million bonk. Then it's preview and you can see the APR is like ridiculous currently because it's traded so much here. Then I confirm this and um, the nice thing is what Orca does is they create an NFT which is this uh, little beautiful twirl that you get into your wallet which represents your position. And if you look at, the, at this on chain, you can see it's um, interacting with the Whirlpool program, then it creates you a token. And here you can see that you are providing like putting um, the liquidity in and then here it creates an account, it creates another account, it initializes the mint for the NFT. Then yeah, it creates the associated token account, it tries to mutualize, uh, initialize the immutable owner, which doesn't work because it's not using token 2022 yet. Then it mints uh, to it, um, then it does all these instructions. And then here you can see it initializes the mint, you get the NFT and so on and then you can um, if you have this NFT then you can look at the in the portfolio into your position and we can see we already earned a tiny bit of um, yield. Um, you can do the same thing on uh, Radium. Um, Radium was actually always connected to Serum which was connected to FTX but now there's a community fork of it which is called OpenBook and here you can basically do the same thing you just um, you put some sol and uh, bonk in and then you have your position here and then you can see your yield and you can harvest the yield. Um, then there's uh, more options, there's uh, Step Finance which uh, currently uh, like stopped their um, providing of AMM. Then there's uh, Aldrin, uh, Frankium, here you have just a lot of um, different farms and where you can put your liquidity in but there is no bonk yet. So if you're only interested in bonk this is um, this is not yet what you want to use. And there's um, Soldex, then there is Atrix, then there is uh, Cropper and the tiny penguin one. So there's um, many lists of uh, uh, of um, things you can use. But uh, and, like it looks very nice that you can like just put in your liquidity and you earn yield for uh, people trading. But there's also a little bit of um, risk in it which is uh, impermanent loss, which is actually a bad word because every loss is impermanent. If you just uh, wait until the token comes back to your price, then you didn't lose. But uh, what it means is if the um, the prices of the two tokens you put in the pool deviate a lot. So for example, if Bonk now goes up five times, 
then um, it is as if you would have lost 25% on your position actually. So you need to be um, also careful on that. Like if the price doubles, then you lose 5%. So you always need to make sure that you're earning enough yield that it's actually worth it doing that. Then another thing I wanted to show you, you can also use this um, the, the Orca SDK from within Unity. Like for Solplay, I only ported the, um, the swap, but Garvel's Labs is currently working on a, on a whole port of the Orca SDK. Currently, I can't see the repository, but um, I think they're going to release it soon, probably. And um, yeah, just uh, try it out, have some fun with, uh, with uh, yields and try out these liquidities. Um, it's very interesting and it actually also can make you some money as long as the um, as long as the volume is that high. Um, it definitely makes sense to put some liquidity in. Just um, be careful if the price drops a lot, you might actually still lose on that. Okay, yeah, try it out and uh, see you next time.